Welcome back YouTube. We finally reached our point of the unknown where we're going to start to hang our carrier cage. Before we had it on top of the bar and now we're going to be having it hanging underneath. So we have a lot of discussion and it's a very important part because now we're going to be having our $20,000 razor where it's hanging where before there wasn't a failure factor because it have to is on top of the bar. But after a lot of deliberating, I think it would come up with some good solutions. So first off, let's talk about the need and the dimensions we had to meet. So we're going to have our square tubing, this is be our tongue, and our slider will be mounted on top of that. And then we've chosen this four inch channel to be our top slider. And it'll be like this. And we're gonna have a strip of our HDPE plastic mounted to the bottom of that. So this will be sliding on top of this. Now, the conundrum was how do we get good strength so everything pulling against each other would have sufficient amount of welds and sufficient amount of uh, surface area. So now we could have went and bought us some quarter inch steel plating and ended up doing this all but We'd already bought this and we had a long stick of that and we would have spent a lot of extra money trying to get that much plating uh, to get seven inches wide on quarter inch plate. So we decided to use some material that we already had and we just took that four inch plating or a uh, four inch C channel and we made a tower out of it like this. So we weld this all up and now that gives us the right three inch center here and then we're going to have a pinability to come across here. So that was another thing we did talked a lot about. Do we want to weld this together or do we want to pin it? And since this is think build test we figured let's try pinning it first and then we'll see if we don't like that then maybe we'll go for a weld. But we want to make sure that this rack is as easy to disassemble if we're on the road. We want to haul an empty trailer and put the carrier in the back and then when we get where we're going and we're ready to load something up we wanted to be able to have the accessibility to quickly be able to go ahead and put the carrier rack on without disassembling the rest of the trailer. So. We're going to go for it to pin it. We kind of calculated the shear stress and at four pin points, that's only 200 pounds per pin. Uh, if you got about an 800 or 750 pound front of a razor and about 80 pound uh, rack, 800 pounds divided by four, 200 pounds per pin. And on the cold roll 5 8 pin we got, I think the shear strength is well over 15,000 pounds a piece. So it should be good. have our final construction and she's a beast. You can probably get really good Wi-Fi signal off of that but she's solid. We had lots of good weld joints there, there, there. Four inches along it did really good. Another thing we talked about is being able to uh, 
being able to mount to the carrier but have it kind of hook on it a little bit so we decided to get these pieces like this and we notched them so this part would be on the underside so as we weld these into place we still have this extra added piece of metal that we're pulling against this way so this will grab it there's just a little extra comfort the welding probably would have been enough but like I said we got a big investment riding on this and we wanted to have extra securities installed so these pieces here are going to get welded together like so to the frame but be welded here and here on the inside and the reason why we didn't go with the C channel is because I wanted to be able to weld on the inside here and here on both sides to really get a good fillet all the way around. So let's go ahead and show you what we're talking about, how this is going to kind of mount up in here. So this will be the bottom side of the frame. And these are the parts that's going to keep in here. And we're going to put this exactly in the middle on this edge, since we have two halves. Got a good tight fit. So now, this on the bottom side, the force will be carrying this, and so we got this nice lip here, like I said, for added security. And then you'll see on our welding video, you'll see that we filled it this whole edge. I left a gap here so we'd have some good thick metal to weld on, because if you weld on the very tips, a lot of times you'll blow the tip out. But this right there, right in the center, lots of good solid welding. So this will be the top of the carrier, and this will slide up down here like this, and this will slide, slide into place like that, and remember this is our top piece where our slider will be, and this will be where we're hanging on this, and then this pin will have two pins, one here, and that will go all the way through, so we'll have shear strength here, shear strength here and then we'll do it on the back piece here, there, and it'll go all the way through. So we'll be able to take this off with two pins. One, two, and the carrier should drop off, and this piece will be removable. Lastly, let's talk about the numbers that were involved here. Our pillars, they were coming up. They ended up being seven inches and three quarter up. And we left a quarter inch on the top. To be able to have some more good fillet. And then our channel is four inches wide. So we match that with our two 2x3L two brackets here and here. And then we're going to center this 
uh, we're going to center and drill where the pin's going to go through where we have at least two times the edge distance in diameter from the edge. When you're looking at that, there's plenty in that. And then we got plenty of room in that to really center that and have lots of good uh, edge distance between our metal and the hole. Okay, so we're doing just like we did on the other ones. We're going to countersink going an inch and a half from the end and one in the center for the main sliders. So on our carrier, this will go through here and we'll match those holes and sink those just like there. Now for our side sliders, we're going to have to reverse drill this because we can't get our drill bit in here and we won't be able to get our screw in there. So I've marked these in the center of where my side sliders will go and now I'm going to have to match drill and reverse. I'm going to just use the head of that screw to kind of keep one side still. Match drill the other side. So now I'll just countersink this from the inside. And then I'll be able to just use a ratchet with my socket to get the screws going. So there we have two side sliders and our top slider. Now remember how I said I put that bevel on there? If there was any buildup to this gap, then this bevel would help to not catch on that and be able to push it down. Okay, so I had to have a little bit of an adjustment. Although these are good measurements on these side sliders, the way that you're going to have to pick up the sliding carriage, you're going to have to hook one side then the other. Well, that didn't allow for there to be any off camber. It hit on this and didn't allow us to get our hole set. So I took this down to two inches on the whip, and we're going to see how that works. Anyway, YouTube, this wraps up our shop talk. I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Walking? Who did that walking? Was that you? That was me. Unprofessional. Unprofessional. You're fired. Uh,